know many people in the metro, they were kind of forced to turn on the heater last night. It got oh, chilly. Oh, yes, you may need it again tonight. Yeah, leave it on. The clearing skies is going to allow what warmth we got today to escape into the atmosphere, so it should be a kind of a cold morning. But I would tell you, by tomorrow afternoon, with all the golden rays, sunshine, our temperature will be rising quickly. So I, it may be the pick day for the entire week. Now, it'll get a little warmer on Tuesday, but then we get things unsettled by midweek. And we're talking about our next chances of impact days for you. That will be Wednesday and Thursday as we look at chances of thunderstorms, uh, even some strong wind flow again. And guess what? Colder air following by the end of the week. You'll see all this in detail coming up in just a minute on your 90 forecast. But with clear skies, we are down to 49 degrees. Wind speeds have dropped off just a bit, but don't expect them to be fairly quiet for overnight. They'll be about 10 to 15 at least for the overnight hours. Right now they're at nine miles an hour. Pressure is now steady, but reading good at 30.02 inches. Should be rising just a bit to tomorrow. Independence are at 54 degrees, holding on to 53 in Blue Springs. Shawnee, DeSoto sharing a 52, Smithville 51. A lot of cloudiness hung around in northeast areas like Trenton, Chillicothe. That's why you barely reached 50 this afternoon. Uh, where the, everybody else got that sunshine to help get into the uh, mid to upper 50s. And right now we're holding on to 50s for Olathe and Paola. Wind speeds, most of it double digit numbers, anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour. Coming in from a, a kind of a crisp northwest direction. That's that cooler, drier air. But that wind flow will slowly change direction tomorrow. We have plenty of sunshine because of the clearing skies and really not much activity across the central plains, even to the far west. So it'll take time for the atmosphere to reload and enjoy those couple of days of quiet weather and uh, more like springtime temperatures. Now for tomorrow morning, as we mentioned earlier, it's going to start out kind of a cold note, 36 degrees right before sunrise, 37 for Lee Summit, uh, Olathe about 35, Trenton at 34 with Cameron, Atchison and Hiawatha. Hiawatha, you'll be uh, at the freezing point, but then quickly you'll have the sunshine helping you out and by afternoon, a high expected around 67 degrees. Wind flow about 10 to 15 miles an hour, but gusting at times up to about 20 to 25 miles an hour. So enjoy that. Increasing clouds on Tuesday. A slight chance of a shower in the morning hours, but still not a bad day. High about 76. Then we get the stronger winds bringing in that warmer air. A high of 80 degrees with some showers and thunderstorms on your Wednesday. Thursday, some leftover showers in 66. This is where your colder air starts to take over. And even though we have some spotty showers expected on Friday, look at the highs. Only 59, 55, and uh, 55 and 59 as we go into next weekend and overnight lows into the 30s.